Hello, hi, how are you? You can see the topic we're going to talk about, Dark Night of the Soul. Let's get right into it, shall we? So for the Divine Feminine, for her and the Divine Feminine part of you, this is a significant thing because if you don't learn how to work your brand new twin flame body, you're going to be lost in this kind of energy because this will cycle again. It cycles, it cycles during retrogrades and new moons. So this is the heavy, deep stuff. This is what people call twin flames raw. This is the shit you do not want to be carrying. Okay, just straight up. Let's get into it here. Do you feel listless, depressed? Do you have a low appetite? Are you unable to choose what to eat? Like, does the logical part of you know that you need to eat, but you're like, don't feel like it, don't know what I want to eat? I feel very listless. You feel weak in your upper body, or you feel weak in your body, like you somehow have low energy and you've lost your strength. On top of that, it's depressing. You went to sleep, you can sense you're depressed in your sleep, you are depressed when you wake up you feel depressed there's a reason for this and there's a reason that people go through it and you know i'm no stranger to rolling up my sleeves and getting this hard stuff done which is why i teach it i'm not here to teach about fluffy rainbows and you know all of that other crap that people if people need that at some point they're going to find this out and they're going to find that Medications don't cut it because you need to begin using your new light body. You have connections to each other. Do you feel like sleeping or napping, but you're never rested? Do you feel like you never get rest no matter how long you sleep? You could sleep for 10 hours. You could lay down for a nap, but you don't get up refreshed. That's part of this. And it's not pretty. So what else? You feel disinterested and detached from life, especially your own life. And oddly, you feel like a little kid looking in through the window or looking at all the candies and you can't have any. Why? Why shouldn't you? Aren't you a twin flame? Didn't you once have a sense of being entitled to love? Yeah, where did that go? Okay, there's a lot of people and then a lot of people start self-medicating they start drinking drugging smoking and your light body can't sustain that anymore there comes a point where people hit the wall with certain stuff and you either get up and over or you start sinking and i don't like to see this happen in people not when i have solutions are you watching others have fun and you're wondering where's yours where's your fun where's your relationship where's your togetherness Okay, it can feel like that. And oddly, it doesn't even feel like envy or, you know, might feel like resentment. You're going to find a lot of your dark emotions come up in this energy. Why? Ooh, this is this is the flip side of your big ginormous Venus retrograde where it is about love and home and money and health and mental health and emotional health, not just like Oh, Venus, you got to love her. No, this is the dark side, the flip side, as you might say, the reverse that you got to deal with and you got to take care of it and you got to scrape it out and you got to purge it and you got to learn how to do it. And you got to learn how to do it again, because if things happen, you got to know how to work your light body. It's that simple. Things go backwards. And in, uh, if you keep watching my videos, I'm going to explain to you why certain plant medicines don't work anymore for twin flames. It's mainly because you got to use 5D love. You have to alchemize and merge parts of your body. What about for him? The same plus worse. Breaking up with things, divorces, coming to the dawning realization that they cannot compartmentalize their lives also depression also all this also sometimes feelings of doom and gloom doom impending doom they're in trouble something's going to happen now imagine if you have 
someone that you're supposed to love and they're over there and they're, you know, they're miles away and they're experiencing this. Why would you ignore it? There is no more separation. You're, you're connected, but you're going to feel each other's crap. And my job, what I consider the part of the task that my work does, that my methods do, is to shear you away from each other's crap, elevate you so that you can continue converging and come to your proper meeting points, conversion points, having your merges continuing those so that you're alchemizing your energy with each other this takes being celibate so some people have questions about this why would you keep mingling your energy with other people even on the internet even on you know like watching triple x rated stuff why there's a whole bunch of energy in there you need to detach 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 Okay, not just detach from your life, detach from whatever the collective is going through. Why does this happen? We'll take a look around at all of the dissension, discord, wars, battles, you name it. There's several going on. We don't need to get detailed here. You've been through many throughout your existence. Time to begin this karmic balancing. Now, how do we do this? Because a lot of people want to blame the DM and a lot of people want to turn around and, you know, be dualistic and blame the DF. And, you know, this goes on ad nauseum. Stop. Stop. The buck stops here. It's time to do it the right way. Time to do it a new way using my methods. Now, how is that? You have inner connections that are loaded up with this stuff major organs that are holding emotions, your cellular memories, and it is in several areas of your body. And that's the kicker. When you go to a mental health professional, they think it's here, okay? If you go to someone else, your doctors don't know ascension. I'm not knocking doctors. I practice to be a doctor myself. I have utmost respect for people that are, but they do not know ascension. They have not had years of being put through their paces to be able to not only do this, format it, create webinars and books and teach it. And that's the reality is that you're only going to get that really good Blu-ray stuff right here. So what are we dealing with here? Do you want to capture your spirit? Because these things happen, a dark night of the soul is not really your soul, but it is a dark night, okay? It's darkness, it's dense, it's heavy, it's raw, it's painful, it's debilitating, it's weakening you. All those things, you know, wah, 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 wah. And how do we reverse that? I'm an expert at that. Capture your spirit through a spirit subtle body session. Put down the things that you know damn well are toxic for you, okay? I've been through the hard detox. I know it's hard. Believe me, I get it. Sometimes you want to say, you know what? It was better before when I was using then to deal with this. Oh my God, everything's so raw. Yeah because it was submerged for a really long time, longer than you even realize. Which brings me to the next thing. Your spirit has to be free to fly. This is a major subtle body that you have. This is your creativity. This is your entrepreneurial spirit. This is your money maker. This is your joy. This is your day in and day out. This is where the ego gets reabsorbed. So your ego isn't running the show because your ego will tell you, just go backwards. Just go back to the way it was. Just reach for something else. Go reach for another soulmate. Deal with the karma, right? No, that's not going to go well. Karmic relationships are intended to fall apart because karma ended. And there was a 10-year grace period. And you're completing a much larger cycle here. There's at least from 2014 and 2024, 
a 10 year cycle right there, but there is a much larger, almost 40 year cycle here. 4D, 40, 40 years to get out of 4D. Yes. Join my webinar and find out cosmic karma and deaths, all kinds of deaths, visceral deaths, attempted deaths, times that we lived in pretty much a dark life, okay? You may not have been suicidal, but it was a non-joy life. It was drug beyond drudgery. It was terrible. And a lot of people have had these dead-end lives. That's what I call it, a dead-end life. Are you in a dead-end life? Okay. Join us. Email me. Tell me your story. Or better yet, join. Join the webinar to get this done. It's not going to get easier by the Lionsgate. And I mean, I'm being straight up. Why do you need to know there's going to be more solar flares? I'll tell you right now. There's going to be more solar flares. I'll tell you right now. There's going to be another full moon and then a new moon. It's at the half moon that you're going to feel stuff. And that's the kicker. Okay. Wishing upon a full moon is not the same as doing your brand new twin flame body work. Okay. It's working the body, it's opening the body, it's expanding you so that you can utilize it for your betterment, okay? Give up your bodhisattva vows if you haven't already. That means that why are you foregoing your own enlightenment until everyone else is enlightened? If you were awakened, that was your wake-up call, begin. Now, I had an interesting question this weekend from my group. And the question was, at what point do people wake up? And I'm going to be straight up with you. Some people, they get the wake up calls. Sometimes it happens when they're messed up on drugs and alcohol. And they know it deep inside their heart. They're like, oh, I got to get, you know, I got to, I got to get rid of this. I just, they don't know how. That's the thing. If you're telling yourself, I don't know how. I don't know where to start. Start with us, okay? If you're not having satisfaction with other forms of stuff, because it does trail off at some point, numbers won't cut it for you because you'll be feeling like you're, you're being nagged with numbers. Not like those numbers are, you know, bringing joy to your life. Like, oh, I saw an 11-11. You're going to feel like I saw another 11 and... God, where is this? Let's get real. You have to work. Okay, this is participatory. You have to do it. I've worked with people who have injuries, pregnant, and have some form of disability. And we get her done. We are getting them the work that they need. Why? Because I am a multidimensional healer. That's how it works. Okay, that means past, present, future, and multiple dimensions. So you have present, past, and these dimensions and the past of those dimensions. That's what that means. What if something happened to you in another dimension in your past at the cosmic level? And you have cosmic karma. This is what a lot of people think that their twin flame is. It's actually cosmic karmic soulmate. Oh, yeah. They feel like a little bit different vibration, but there's still karma. It's not a twin flame. How do you know? How would you get it messed up? It's easy to do because this is new. This is new and your soul's not going to support that. And your soul's not going to support them being with you if they did you in in some other life. I mean, let's get real. Doesn't matter what your our silly little ego minds want. Now, the body itself is the structure where these connections are anchored because you are having a physical togetherness with your twin flame. Okay. And it is very different than a relationship because there is merging and there's intrinsic ways of knowing each other. You get a little bit of that ahead of time. 
but you're going to get a lot more and your discernment deepens, your intuitions deepen, your senses heighten, your intelligence, okay? So in the past, if you go back 100 years, yeah, maybe people only had a choice of like, well, I'm going to take this psychotropic thing. After all, it really won't do anything. Oh, yeah, it does. And then if it killed you, you're going to come back for another life to do it the right way using your brand new twin flame body. Why not get right down to it? So the question that came up in the group, why do some people awaken? Some people awaken, they don't know what it is because they have no context. They also, they deny it. They deny it. Something in them senses that this was from the divine or God or somebody, their angel guides, wherever it's coming from, right? It can be sensed through the body because it's the heart. It's not the mind. It really bypasses the mind. People's own, I would say, innate senses are telling them, hello, hello, we're trying to wake you up or I'm trying to wake you up. Please pay attention. Stop picking up. Stop dating around. Stop doing this or that. Stop, stop, stop. There's something better for you. And they go into denial for a few years until they crash and something else happens. So that's what some people do. Okay. Now, if you would uh, like to join, please look at the links below. July 14th, this is what we are covering and how to get yourself out of it, how to do this or have a one-on-one -on -one session or coaching. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe because I'm coming back with much more for you. Bye.